Welcome back to our Kids Online Cooking Club. I'm Krista. I'm the program coordinator here at the West Bonner Library District here in beautiful, sunny Priest River, Idaho. Um, we are in the transition process moving into our new space in the library and they're remodeling our old space so that it all blends together. So I'm coming to you from our mostly finished kitchen, but we still have to get sinks and things in here in our big meeting room. Um, we'll switch this around a little bit from week to week until we're all settled in. So anyway, this week uh, we're going to do a recipe that came out of an interesting cookbook, actually. It's called Milk Bar Kids Only Cookbook. Uh, this book you can check out from the library. Um, and today's recipe is going to be corn dog, corn dog waffles. Uh, I don't know, it looked like fun. So I brought my waffle maker in, brought the ingredients in. We're going to make these up um, and then uh, taste them. I actually have a couple of taste testers out in the other part of the library that are willing to taste this for me today. So we'll do that and then um, when we post this video, we will post the recipe with it. Uh, you'll see the video on YouTube, Facebook, uh, and the library website, which is westbonner.lily.org. So. Without any further ado, we're gonna get started. So, first thing in this recipe says to stir together the dry ingredients, which is in this case, it's gonna be cornmeal and flour, a little bit of sugar, some baking powder, and salt. So, uh, we're gonna start with a cup of yellow cornmeal. So, yellow cornmeal. One cup. And then we have one cup of flour. Okay, cup of flour. Quarter cup of sugar. So I'm moving over to my quarter cup measure here. Move all of our ingredients out of the way as we go. Baking powder, not baking soda. They both have chemical reactions in food that makes food rise um, or become lighter, but in this case we're using baking powder, not baking soda. And then we have a teaspoon of salt. different things. Uh, they want you to put the dry ingredients together. That way when you add the wet ingredients, they, um, it just goes together better and you don't end up with one part that's got more flour or more baking powder than another. Then the next thing they want in this recipe is two eggs, and I'm putting these in a separate bowl. It's a little thicker than regular milk, so I just kind of dilute it down a little bit with some water. And then we're going to put that together. Beat the eggs in with the milk. And then it calls for some vegetable oil. And the 
vegetable oil is a third of a cup. So we need to find our third of a cup measure here. And there we go. Mix this together. See you in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back now, and uh, I'm about to take out the first corn dog waffle from the waffle maker. I, it's gone about three minutes or so on medium high. Mm. This looks really cool. Check this out. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and start another one, and I'm gonna get the taste testers to come taste this for me in just a minute. We'll be back. Okay, we've taken out the one, the first um, corn dog waffle, and I'm about to take out the second one. Unfortunately, my taste testers had to go before I could get this video done. So, but I can tell you right now that it's really good. And these are coming out just super fun. You know, you could do, if you wanted to, you know, this is just one kind of thing you could do in a waffle maker. Um, I mean, you can see what these are doing. Um, but you could go ahead and do regular waffle mix and add chopped up sausage to it or chopped up sausage and cheese or, you know, this is made with cornmeal. And I used some coarse cornmeal in this so it's a little bit crunchy in a way. Um, you could use some finer grain cornmeal too. So anyway, that's this week's recipe. I had a lot of fun making it, as you guys know. Uh, from all the other videos, I do these without having made them ahead of time, usually. So I'm always surprised, like you guys are, um, how things turn out. Anyway, hope you guys have a great week. Uh, it's a sunny day here in Priest River, and um, we'll see you soon. Take care.